Ever wondered how that shiny fork you're holding, or the skyscraper glinting in the sun, came to be? How does a basic hunk of metal get so tough, so clean, and so stainless? Well, buckle up, because we're diving into the fiery high-tech world of making stainless steel. It's a process way more intense than your spiciest group chat drama. It all starts with the raw materials. We're talking iron ore, chromium, silicon, carbon, nitrogen, and manganese. Think of it like a recipe for the world's most hardcore cake. The main ingredient is iron ore, but the real MVP, the secret sauce that makes stainless steel stainless, is chromium. This is the element that gives it its legendary rust-proof powers. We'll also throw in some other players, like nickel, which adds to the toughness and makes it easier to shape. Now, let's get things cooking. All these ingredients are loaded into a massive electric arc furnace. And when I say massive, I mean it. These things are huge and can hold tons of material. Once everything is inside, we crank up the heat. We're talking temperatures soaring over 2,800 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 1,500 degrees Celsius. This is where giant electrodes are lowered into the furnace and an insane amount of electricity creates an arc, melting everything down into a glowing molten soup. It's like watching a man-made volcano erupt indoors. The whole process takes hours as the crew carefully monitors the mix making sure the chemistry is just right. Once our molten metal cocktail is perfectly blended, we've got to get rid of the junk. No one wants impurities in their high-quality steel. So, the molten metal is transferred to another vessel for a process called decarburization. That's a fancy word for removing excess carbon. Why? Too much carbon can make the final product brittle and less resistant to corrosion. They often use a method called argon oxygen decarburization, or AOD. They blow an argon-oxygen mixture through the molten steel, which selectively targets and removes the extra carbon without messing with the precious chromium. This step is super critical for dialing in the exact properties of the steel. Think of it as a purification ritual, getting the metal ready for its final form. After all that refining, the molten steel is ready for its big moment. Casting the glowing orange liquid is poured from the ladle into molds. This process is called continuous casting, where the steel flows into a cooled mold to form long slabs, blooms, or billets. It's a mesmerizing sight, watching this river of liquid fire solidify into a solid shape right before your eyes. These freshly formed pieces of steel are still red hot and have to be cut to manageable lengths before they move on to the next stage. Mm. It's like the steel is being born, taking its first solid shape. Now we have these big, chunky slabs of steel, but they're not very useful yet. We need to shape them. This is where the hot rolling process comes in. The slabs are reheated to a specific temperature and then pass through a series of massive rollers. Imagine a giant industrial strength rolling pin squeezing and stretching the steel with immense pressure. Each pass through the rollers makes the steel thinner and longer, shaping it into plates, sheets, or strips. The temperature has to be controlled perfectly during this whole process to maintain the steel's internal structure and properties. It's a powerful display of brute force meeting precise engineering. But we're not done yet. After hot rolling, the steel has a rough, dark layer of scale on its surface, from being heated, not exactly the shiny look we're going for. So, it's time for a spa day. This phase is called annealing and pickling. First, annealing the steel is heated up again, and then cooled down under very controlled conditions. This isn't about melting it. It's about relieving the stress inside the metal and refining its grain structure. It makes the steel softer, more ductile, and tougher. After it's been heat treated, it gets a bath in an acid solution. That's the pickling part. This acid bath strips away that scaly layer, revealing the clean, raw steel underneath. For some applications, we need the steel to be even thinner or have a more precise shape. That's where cold rolling comes in. Unlike hot rolling, this is done at room temperature. The steel is passed through rollers again, but this time, the pressure is even greater. Cold rolling increases the steel's strength and gives it a much smoother, more refined surface finish. This is how we get those super-thin, high-precision steel sheets that are used in everything from kitchen appliances to surgical instruments. It's all about precision and achieving that perfect final dimension. We're almost at the finish line. The steel has the right shape and properties, but it's time to make it look good. This is the finishing stage, where the steel gets its signature shine. Depending on the intended use, 
it can go through a bunch of different processes. It might be ground, polished, or buffed to create anything from a dull matte finish to a brilliant mirror-like surface. Sparks fly as grinders smooth out any imperfections and huge polishing machines work their magic. This is where the steel's aesthetic qualities are born. It's not just about being strong, it's also about looking the part. So, let's recap the magic ingredient, chromium. What makes stainless steel so special is its ability to heal itself. When chromium is exposed to oxygen in the air, it forms a super thin, invisible, and incredibly tough layer of chromium oxide on the surface. This layer is passive, meaning it doesn't react with the environment, and it acts as a shield, protecting the iron and the steel from rusting. And here's the coolest part. If you scratch the surface, the exposed chromium immediately reacts with oxygen again and instantly reforms that protective layer. It's like a superhero with a regenerative healing factor. That's why your stainless steel sink can take a beating and still look great for years. And there you have it. From a pile of ore and scrap metal to a gleaming high-performance material that's literally everywhere. Look around you. It's in your kitchen as pots, pans, and appliances. It's in the hospital in the form of surgical tools. It's holding up the skyscrapers that define our cities and even in the tiny screws inside your phone. Stainless steel is a true marvel of modern metallurgy, strong, clean, and built to last. It's a testament to how we can take raw elements from the earth and, through fire and force, transform them into something truly extraordinary. Thanks for sticking with us on this journey through the forge. If you thought this was cool, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into how our world is made. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next. Until then, stay curious.